Hello everyone, welcome back to another RGM Garage episode. Thank you. Ciao. Welcome back to another episode of RGM Garage. So this week I'm working on wiring and moving things around to fit on this uh, subframe. So yesterday uh, I spent a little bit of time on you know opening this wiring a little bit. It's easy to move and bend as needed to conform to a new location opposed to where it was on the original. So, because I had to cut the placement where the battery would have been, I decided to place the battery back here where the storage compartment would have been. Uh, there's plenty space. I will just have to get a um, lithium-ion battery which are much smaller much compact and much lighter as well so um, it's the benefit of um, weight savings as well so I have mounted the regulator rectifier on this side at one mounting uh, hole in here already threaded just drill the second hole and this will just need to be um, isolated for, from vibration but um, I will figure that out later. The ignition module and power commander are on this side and um, they're just fine in here. Uh, there's plenty of space on the inside of the fairing so there's plenty of space here to, to keep this and they will keep cool as well as well as the regular rectifier which I will incorporate some sort of um, ventilation um, going through it um, so with the wiring I found that positive side of the starter motor is way too short because it will need to reach all the way up here and to, to be able to go around all the curves and everything is slightly too small Another one that's way too small is the negative side. This mounts from the negative side of the battery straight into the frame uh, down near where the uh, starter motor connects. So on the positive side that goes from the ignition, which is this little box here, which is this cable there, I found this is from my old days of subwoofers and stuff like and this is plenty strong for the application here um, we are in isolation as everyone is so it's the best time for me to spend on rebuilding this beautiful project uh, I hope you're enjoying it uh, if you have any questions shoot them below in the comments drop us a like we'll definitely help the, the channel grow and um, hope this gives you a good overview of what I'm doing so I'm gonna jump into time-lapse and just um, get this done and do as much as I possibly can with this so sit back and I hope you enjoy
all right guys so quick update after a lot of faffing about um, I eventually got to the point where the um, ECU is going to be mounted there it's permanently mounted oh it's just zip tied in there but that's good enough for what it is um, started working on this wiring room on this side um, and this is the wires that go to the power commander and um, ignition module so just come down here and uh, this yellow wire is the the one that goes from the starter solenoid all the way down to the uh, starter motor which will connect in there okay so this wire these wires are uh, uh, starting to get isolated um, and just connected together because they're gonna live on this side of the bike on the other side what I was talking about the uh, starter solenoid for the hard to see but the starter solenoid comes here this is the regulator rectifier which just comes the wire just comes down here through there connects to the wire down there wiring and runs down here oh, sorry runs down here it comes down onto the bike and again this uh, the ECU connects into these wires so it's a lot of faffing about and moving things around and um, as much as I wanted to keep this area clean as much as possible it's not possible to do so um, the battery will still live in here um, if possible trying to figure out a small enough battery to fit in there I only have about uh, 13 centimeters square uh, to fit the battery in there so I'm gonna have a look about and see if I can get a um, lithium-ion battery to fit in there but uh, this is just a quick update of what's been done and uh, I'm just going to carry on and clean and tidy up everything.
All right, guys. So after a lot of uh, playing about, this is how the wiring looks. Um, it's all wired up down here uh, and down there. It's all isolated up to about there. This point um, is all connected. The tank is back on. Uh, all the connections are done under the tank. Um, I shoved the this side. Um, foot peg, the original I was a foot peg and I think that's the ones I'm gonna use uh, it's all terminated I got pulled the battery of the Rizla outside and um, this ones that are unconnected is just the backlights that's all other than that is everything is connected just need to uh, plug in the negative side of the battery and try to start it up and see what happens. Here we go. So, before I do this, just want to say this is a huge milestone for, for me, for us to start this bike after two years um, being sat around so wish me luck <coughs> well fuel tank is working The one thing that's not connected properly, I think. Good. But, after two years all right guys so this is it for today um, achieved the huge milestone of starting it and um, run it up to temperature and got everything rolling well and no faults came up nothing came up so pretty satisfied with that my next task today not today but my next task for the next video will be to find a small enough battery that will fit in there um, as to be a lithium-ion battery um, as to be at the maximum 130 mil wide um, 
well 130 mil square and no more than 10 mil deep something like that uh, but I'm gonna put all the fairings on it um, take some measurements and look for the right battery that's powerful enough to uh, crank this over and um, just gonna play about a little bit with the rest of the wiring and isolate it all get it all done I hope you enjoyed it uh, remember give us a thumbs up uh, subscribe if you haven't already and comment below any questions you may have and take it easy ride safe have fun stay safe at home in these days um, and hope you're enjoying the videos so take it easy ride safe and I'll see you next time Thank you.